Jigsaw puzzles are made here, in a jigsaw puzzle factory. The first thing we need to do is choose a picture for our jigsaw puzzle. And this is the print room where they keep lots of different pictures. What type of jigsaw shall we make? How about one with animals? Or this one, a group of people having a party? Or how about my favourite? This one, a bright green tractor. Jigsaw puzzles are sometimes made out of a type of thick paper called cardboard, but the ones we're making today are made out of wood. But these sheets of wood are much too big for our jigsaw puzzle, aren't they? So first, they have to be cut to the right size. Ready? For this, Gary is using a cutting machine called a circular table saw. And that one piece of wood will make 12 jigsaw puzzles. Oh, can you hear that noise? It's quite screechy, isn't it? Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Next, the cut wood pieces need to have their puzzle pictures attached. Here you go. For this, Angie uses a gluing machine. Did you see how quickly the machine put glue on the picture? I love how gloopy the glue is. And it's the rollers that spread the gloopy glue on the picture so it will stick to the wood. The boards are then stacked in piles and put into a big blue clamp. It's called a butterfly press. I've been given special permission to use it to turn the handles that will help press the stack together so the pictures dry flat. Ready? Now we just have to wait 10 minutes. After they dried, the stack of wooden pictures can be taken out ready for the next stage. Now's the really exciting part. It's time to cut out the jigsaw puzzle pieces. Sean is cutting all the jigsaws at the same time by moving them around while a precision cutter cuts through the wood. Look how quickly Sean is cutting the shapes. He's not even following a line. The saw that Sean's using is very sharp, but he's specially trained to do this. But it's so quick, it's hard to see the shapes he's cutting out, isn't it? So that we can see it all happening much more clearly, I put my special camera on Sean's head. <laughs> OK, here we go, Sean. Okay. Wow! Can you see the wiggly shapes being cut out? Sean doesn't use a pattern. Instead, he decides what shapes to cut out as he goes along, so it's different each time. The jigsaw puzzle pieces look absolutely brilliant, but they're not quite finished yet. We still need some finishing touches. To make the puzzle nice and smooth underneath, the wood is sanded using a handheld sanding machine. Now our stack of jigsaw puzzles go to the packing area where they're ready to be packed. Here you go. Here, any leftover sawdust is brushed and shaken off. The puzzle is ready to go in a box and the lid is put on. All that's left to do is have a go at the puzzle. Finished tractor jigsaw puzzle. 